Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy Walsh, and I'm the Director of Support, Training, and Documentation for BNI Connect. I'd like to welcome everybody to the webinar today. Uh, today's webinar is on BNI Connect and your global network. What we're going to be talking about today is a lot of the social media functions within BNI Connect that help you to kind of reach beyond your chapter and to look at some of the other ways that you can connect with BNI members around the world using BNI Connect. You know, one of the great things about BNI Connect is that for the first time in the 30-year history of BNI, all of the members around the world have easy access to get in touch with one another. So we really have become a global community. Today I'm going to show you how you can do that, how you can start to build deeper relationships, and how you can basically just use BNI as a referral source even beyond your town, beyond your state, beyond your country. A couple of housekeeping things before we get started. Um, today's webinar is a live webinar, so that means that if you have any questions at all as we're going through things today, please do feel free to just type your question right into the uh, control panel. It'll pop up on my, on my screen and I'll be able to respond to that question right away. We will be recording this session as well, so I can make it available uh, very shortly after we uh, conclude today. That way, if you would like to share this session with anybody else, or if you'd like to be able to review this at a later time, you'll be able to. Now, there's a couple of different ways that you can um, access the webinar after it's been recorded. And the first way is that you can click on this question mark up here in the upper right-hand corner. So this is right below where it says regional website and options. There's a question mark here. If you click that question mark, it will take you over to the support page. You'll see our list of upcoming webinars. And if you scroll down just a little bit more, you'll see chapter training and documentation. Here we have guides for just about everything you could possibly do in BNI Connect, as well as the recorded webinars. So you can see here we have a section for the recorded webinars, January 2015. We already have the first couple of them up there that we've done already, and this one will be up there very shortly. So please do check it out there. You can also go to youtube.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. This is our YouTube channel where we have tons and tons of uh, videos. We have educational moments. We have um, all of the monthly webinars. We have um, you know, updates and tips and tricks and all sorts of things up on our YouTube channel. So please do check us out there as well. All right, so let's take a look at the um, really the social media components. Obviously, we want to use BNI Connect to really expand our network, local business, global network. So let's look at ways that we can find other people. Now, the important thing to keep in mind is that your profile, your BNI Connect profile, appears in multiple places, both on the public internet, meaning anybody in the world can access the BNI Connect public-facing websites, but there's also the internal system as well, so the member-to-member -member only section within BNI Connect. So let me just show you, first, there is the public site. So if you're in BNI Connect, if you click on the regional website button up here in the upper right-hand corner, if you're not sure what your regional website is, that will take you there. Uh, for me, I'm a member. Yep, I've been going to chapter meetings for 12 years now, since 2002. Um, I am a member here in Rhode Island. So this brings me to my BNI Rhode Island regional website. Now, the great thing about the regional website is if I do find a member, basically it's only going to find members that are local to me. Um, this search is a public search, by the way, so this is on the public internet. Anybody in the world can access this. I can go to find a member and let's say I can even uh, do a search for myself. I can search myself out here. I can view my profile. I can go check out any of my social media links. So all of my information is up here, again, on the public Internet. Now, the other way, so by the way, that's one of the best ways. If you're just looking for somebody in your area, let's say that you don't have an um, electrician in your chapter, and you're just looking for an electrician for somebody locally, one of the easiest ways to do that is through your regional website because it is filtered only to people in your region. 
There is also an America website, BNIAmerica.com, and there's many, many other countries that have a country-based public website as well. But here's where you can search for anybody in the United States. And you, by the way, are listed here as well. So if I go to find a member here in the United States, I can do a search. And let's say, once again, I'm looking for myself. I can do a search. It searches all of the 70,000 or so members in the United States, and it comes up with some best matches. And here we have myself, Jeremy Walsh, and I can take a look at my profile here. Now, the, the other place that you are listed is, this is all on the public websites. So, again, anybody can go to BNIAmerica.com, to BNIRI.com, to whatever your region might be. But there's also an internal search as well, and that is located within BNI Connect. So you have to sign in first, so you have to have your username and password. And if you click on the BNI Connect and I go into the logged in portion of BNI Connect, There is a search within BNI Connect as well, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So first, if you want to find people in BNI Connect, the place to go is this magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner. This magnifying glass in the upper right-hand corner, you can search. Now you can also go, you'll notice that there is a My Network page here. If I click on my network, this will actually show me all of the various social media options that we have here in BNI Connect, so all of the people that I'm connected with. So after you search for somebody, you can have a more permanent connection with them in BNI Connect and add them to your BNI address book. Any of the social media groups, the discussion groups that are in BNI Connect will be listed here. Any documents that my region is sharing. Um, such as traffic lights reports or um, other types of documents that I might be looking for. People can leave you testimonials in BNI Connect as well, so you can see all your testimonials. Any upcoming training events in your region are listed here as well. And there's also an internal messaging system. Now, if I'm looking to connect with somebody else, again, I can click on this magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner or I can also click on add under my network connections and this is going to bring up another search of the BNI global directory so this is going to search every BNI member around the world and we do that by just typing in a name or a search term again I, the easiest way is if you know somebody's name so I can type my own name in Again, it comes up with an exact match here, and if I click on it, it'll open up a new tab. Keep in mind, my original search is still here, but it opens up a new tab, and it has a little bit more of an expanded profile than the general public sees. So you'll see that it has the same information about my business and my keywords and my company, um, all of my phone numbers and my social networking links, but for the for inside BNI people, other BNI members, there's additional information that's shared. Um, we can share our 60-second presentations, our gains profile, our tops profile. On the other tabs, other people can see the connections. Just like LinkedIn, I can look at my first and my second and my third, my fourth level connections um, once I'm viewing somebody's profile. The testimonials will also be listed here in BNI Connect. Um, within the logged in portion only. There's also a photo sharing library. If you choose to share some photos, you can share up to 20 photos with other BNI members. You can see what discussion groups people are participating in. And finally, as a credibility builder, you can also view people's training history. Now, this works also if you don't know a person's name, you can do other searches as well. So, for example, um, one of the best uses that I've found of BNI Connect is that if I, I happen to have family members and friends that are scattered all across the United States, um, and also when I travel to give training and things like that, I always like to use other BNI members. Now, 
we can always use Google and we can use LinkedIn and we can use all these other search engines. But the thing is with BNI, we all kind of have this kind of same common bond in that we're all going to weekly chapter meetings. We all have membership committees. We all have this code of ethics that we live by that's more powerful than Google or Angie's List or anything else that might be vetted on the public internet. So I like to try to find people using BNI Connect whenever possible. So let's say I am looking for an electrician in Rhode Island. I can do that, search members, and it brings me up with a number of electricians here in the Rhode Island area that I can get in touch with. Now, if you'd like to look at somebody else's profile, let's say I have Karen Meyer here. She's an electrician in my area. I can click on her profile and take a look at her profile. You can see that Karen uploaded some photos. She started filling out a lot of her profile. That's a good thing. You know, maybe I'd like to connect with Karen. I can do that by clicking on Add Karen Meyer to My Connections. And what this will do is send her a email saying, hey, Jeremy Walsh would like to connect with you. And she can choose whether or not to accept my connections. And just in a moment, I'll show you where all your connections are managed. When I'm done with this, I can just click to close this tab, and you'll notice I go right back to my search results because those were on a separate page. Now, let's say that I have um, something a little bit more common or something more difficult to search for, and I want to be a little bit more specific in my searching. If I click on the Advanced Search button, Again, up here in the upper right-hand corner, we toggle between advanced, basic, advanced, basic. On the advanced, you can be much more specific as to what you're searching for. So you can make sure that somebody's, something's designated as a keyword or as a state or as the country or, you know, let's say that you just want to look for electricians in uh, Florida, for example, or only in, um, I don't know, the United Kingdom. You can make sure that you're being more specific in that search and return more, uh, I guess, whittled down specific results. So once you've started searching for people, connecting with them, sending out connection requests, you can manage all of those connections. Let's go back to the home screen here in the upper left-hand corner. And I'm on my My Network page. Now under the Connections tab here, I can click on Manage to get into my connections. I could also click on Network Connections from just about any screen in BNI Connect as well. So this will now list all of my connections, so my entire list of currently 482 connections. And this really serves as you know people that I know, people I've gotten to, um, gotten to know a little bit better that I now want to save them in my personal BNI address book. Of course, you can search for people anytime you want to. This is more of your way to to have a collection of them for yourself. And if I wanted to, let's say, look up Christine Denardi's information, I could click on her name. I can see a brief uh, profile for her, namely her contact information. I could send her an email from here. Um, I can also send her an internal message. I could ask her for a testimonial. I could give her a testimonial. Or I could go and view her full profile as well. Now, you'll notice that Christine Denardi, um, I don't have the ability to remove her from my connections. And that's because Christine is actually a member of my chapter. So by default, you will be automatically connected to all of the members in your chapter. Whether that's 20 people, 30 people, 50 people, you will be automatically connected to those people. Those, those connections are maintained automatically in the system. So if you end up leaving a chapter, you will... Um, you know, lose all of those connections immediately. You'll also, you know, when somebody joins the chapter, you'll be automatically connected to them. But, for example, I have uh, Cheska Bailey here. She is an executive director in Oklahoma. Because she's not in my chapter, if I choose to, I can also remove her from my connections. 
Now, when people start requesting that you become a connection, you do have to choose to receive those requests. And if I go down here to my received requests down here at the bottom, I can see that I currently have two pending requests sitting in my queue. Now, if I'm not sure who the person is, I can click on their name or on their profile picture here. It'll open up a new window, and I can check out their profile to remember uh, who they might be. If they sent a message along with the connection request, I can read that message as well. I can do these individually as accept or ignore or reject, or I can click on select all and connect to selected. I'm now connected with those two people. I have no more received requests, so I can go back to my all connections. Now, testimonials. Testimonials are another thing that you can do with your connections. Um, as you can see, I can go to um, a person here. Let's say Alice, for example, who's a member in my region. And I could give Alice a testimonial if I'd like to. All you need to do is to write out that testimonial. And all testimonials are given through this My Connections page. Now, if you'd like to manage your testimonials, either delete testimonials that people have given you or choose whether or not to display them on your profile, you need to go into the Testimonials section of BNI Connect. Now you can do that by clicking, if you're in connections already, click on the testimonials button up here. Otherwise, if you're back on your home screen, under testimonials, I could click on manage. And since there's always multiple ways to get places, I can click on network testimonials. Now the testimonials is laid out very similar to how the uh, connections are laid out. So I can take a look through, I can take a look at my, connect, my um, testimonials. Let's say I'd like to review one of them. I can review this testimonial from Manuela. Or I can review a testimonial from Gunther. I can also review any testimonials that I've given to other people. If people have requested a testimonial from you, you can review those testimonials here and choose whether or not to give them at this time, ignore them, or reject the request. The next thing I'd like to show you in BNI Connect is with the groups. Now, the groups are really, now that we started making some connections, we started doing some testimonials, those are great ways to expand your network. You can start meeting people, you can start conversing with them, hopefully sending referrals back and forth. One of the ways that you can start to now increase your credibility with other people and really start to build those relationships is through the discussion groups. The discussion groups are the opportunity to basically find like-minded people that are in BNI, whether that's because you're both looking for specific times, types of referrals, or maybe you're in the same industry or in the same business. Um, maybe it's just that you are um, looking to meet with other, I don't know, Christian networkers, or if you're looking to meet with other um, you know, electricians, or you'd like to start a florist referral group within BNI to be able to send uh, floral referrals around the United States. All of those are available here in the Groups function. Now I can get into the Groups by clicking on Manage, or I can go to Network Groups. Now at this time, you can see that there are 551 active discussion groups, and there are groups on just about everything you can think of. So here's one for green businesses and a referral wish list, effective time management tips. And there's one here for 
as I mentioned, Christian networkers and in the city members. So, I mean, there's really a ton of groups here. Now, you could go through, there's about five groups, or yeah, five groups listed per page, so you can go through the 150 or so pages, uh, 110 or so pages that are in here. Or you can search against the groups. And if we click the magnifying glass up here, we could search the groups in BNI Connect. So, for example, maybe I want to, um, I know that Dr. Meisner has a couple of groups. Uh, he has a From the Founders group, and he also has a um, Y BNI group. So perhaps I want to do a search for all the groups made by Dr. Meisner. And here there's actually four different groups. There's two by Dr. Meisner and two by his wife, Beth. If you'd like to join, I'm already a member of those groups, so all I see is to leave the group. If you want to join the group, for example, if I wanted to join one of Beth's groups, I could click on Join Group. Joining the group means that you can then participate in the conversations. You'll also, if you choose to, you get the email notifications whenever somebody makes a post in one of those groups. So, for example, let's take a look at the From the Founder group here. And you can see that this is a very, very active group. Um, Dr. Meisner posts in this group very regularly. There's 182 different uh, topics of conversation, and some of them have quite a bit of information in them. So, for example, what drives you crazy in a group? And I can click on that. And I can see all of the conversation that has taken place within that group. I can scroll through page by page. And if I'd like to, I can post my own message here. I can go back and view all the topics I'd like to. and possibly go to a different group or make another post. Now, one of the great things about being part of these, these large groups, now when we talk about visibility and credibility, these groups are a very visible way to increase your credibility. And I say that because, uh, for example, this group has over a 1,000 members in it. If I make a post in this group, that means that a 1,000 people or so are going to get a message with the update of what I just posted in that group. That's a lot of visibility, and if it's good visibility, if you are posting something worthwhile, if you're post making a good point, that can also be a big credibility builder as well. Now, let's say that you are in the groups, and you would like to start your own conversation. So let's, let's say that there um, aren't any groups in there right now that are tickling your fancy and you would like to start your own group, invite your own friends into it, and um, get started with your own discussion. You could do that as well. Every member in BNI Connect can make up to seven of their own groups. So the way to do that is to click on the Add Group button up here at the top. just need to give your group a name. So I'm going to call this one testing123. Uh, what type is the group going to be? Are they, is it an open group, meaning that anybody can jump into this group at any time? An invite-only group means that it is hidden. It is a closed group. Um, you will be the only one that can invite people into the group. Um, once people are a part of that group, if they become moderators of the group, you could then invite them to, to the group as well, or they'd be able to invite people to the group. Um, but only the owner and mod moderators would be able to invite people to the group. And a members can invite is somewhere in between. It's still going to be a hidden group, but other members can invite. 
Give the group a description. Choose what language you're going to be discussing. Keep in mind that the language does not actually translate anything. It's just to let people know um, what the primary discussion language will be. And finally, if you'd like to, any of your people that are in your connections, you can also invite them to be part of your group right away. Once you've completed this information, just click Submit. Now, once your group is created, it will be listed under My Groups. There's a toggle button here. Right now, you can see that I'm in the Public Groups. If I click My Groups, it'll just show me the groups that I've created or that I'm subscribed to. So here's some of the groups that I'm subscribed to or have created. Now, for example, I had created another group uh, a couple of days ago, the, um, this test group down here. And of course, if I'd like to start the conversation, I can add a new topic and give it a description. Within that topic of conversation, you can also post individual messages. And of course, the great thing is, is that all of the people that are in my group, um, even though I don't have anybody in this group right now, um, they do get notifications, as I said, when a post is made with an opportunity to click there and read more or respond. All right, so that is the groups and that's the networking and how to expand your network a little bit here in BNI Connect. Um, what I'd like to do is to open this up for any questions. Um, we are pretty close to the bottom of the hour, so I do like to make sure that I'm respectful of everybody's time if they need to get back to work or get on to their next appointment of the day. Uh, that being said, uh, this is what I do, uh, support BNI Connect and answer BNI Connect questions all day long. So if you have any questions, I am happy to answer those questions now, whether it's about this topic or anything else in BNI Connect. Um, I'm happy to stay on the call as long as people have legitimate questions. While you're thinking of any questions, just a quick reminder, um, this is being recorded. It will be made available on the support site as well as on our YouTube channel. Again, the support site is support.bniconnect.com, which you can access by clicking on this question mark in the upper right-hand corner. And it will be made available here in the recorded webinars section. Now, a good referral for me, if you happen to find this format very helpful, if you found it fruitful, if you got some good information today, a good referral for me is to please let your other chapter members know about these webinars. Our very next webinar is going to be Friday, a couple of days from now, Friday at noon Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be going a little bit deeper into BNI Connect and talking about some of the different tools and reports within the system that go beyond the home page. And finally, I would love it if you gave us a like on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash BNI Connect Global. Uh, we do webinar announcements and tips and tricks and all sorts of things here in BNI Connect on the Facebook channel as well. So please do uh, give us a like and follow us there as well. All right, I am not seeing any questions, so what I'd like to do is to thank everybody so much for their time today. Thank you for being here, and I look forward to seeing you on a future webinar. Have an absolutely wonderful afternoon, everyone, and happy connecting.